Hi, I'm Caitlin and welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday and I've got a hair appointment in about 30 minutes. I've been really looking forward to this so I can't wait to get it done. I think the top of my hair should be a little bit lighter so I'm gonna probably do something along the lines with that and then see what we can kind of do with these bangs. They've grown out quite a bit so I am actually pretty excited about that and seeing if we can kind of hide them maybe on the sides or something like that. But either way, super excited. I'm wearing my new Athleta jacket that I picked up just a few days ago. I've still got my nice pretty red nails, so I'm starting to feel better and I just can't wait to get this vlog going. So thanks again and let's go get my hair done. I just finished my hair appointment and here is the final look. I love it. I did go a little bit shorter because I thought that might be a nice change. And then I've got a little bit of color in here and a little bit of a different extension as well, which is just a little bit lighter in my hair. But I love it. I'm super happy with it. I also love the curl. And then we just kind of styled my bangs. I'm actually doing a side part now uh, because I thought that the, that flowed a little bit better with my bangs. But yeah, I love it. It always feels so good to get it done. And yeah, just wanted to show you guys. Happy Saturday. We just dropped my sister and her husband off at the airport. They were here for about two weeks and it was really nice. So it was kind of a bittersweet moment to just have my house back, but also uh, just kind of a little bit sad to see them go. But either way, I got two new packages in the mail today that I wanted to show you guys. And then I also just wanted to talk about my hair a little bit more. I know I chatted with you guys a little bit the other day about it. I just kind of wanted to show you different light. It's still not great lighting because because if you guys are watching this and you'll remember if you're in the DMV area, it is very rainy and gross on the Saturday and so the weather's just bad. It's kind of dark and gloomy today, but either way, I ended up getting hair a little bit shortened and I also wanted to add some color in my hair, but I didn't want to damage my hair. So there's a little bit of color if you can tell at the top of my hair, but most of this color here comes actually from the extension so that it's not damaging my hair, which I actually really, really like. The extensions that I had previously were tapins, and the ones that I have mostly now are the chunk of the new ones are actually sewn. So I'm kind of getting used to those. They actually move a lot better than I think the tapins, at least for right now. Like before, my hair would get stuck and I couldn't, you know, move my hair, but so much, and now it's like I can pull them back. You don't see anything, and it's it's kind of nice. So I still have a few of my original uh, hair pieces from the tapins in as well. They're kind of mixed in here, just a few pieces. But yeah, I really love my hair. I really like the length. I think it probably looks a little bit more natural. Yeah, still really really love my hair. And let me show you what I got in the mail. Sorry again for the bad lighting. Again, it's really really dark because of the weather. But here are my new packages. The first one I got is from Everlane. So I actually, I've talked about this brand I think before, semi-recently, around Christmas time. I had always passed by the store in Tyson's Corner and I'd never really been in there. I, I was always really intrigued by it, but again, never kind of went in there. My mom got my sister a couple of things for Christmas. And then when we went after Christmas shopping, they had some sales going on and I picked up a few sweaters and really, really loved them. So their sale was still going on. I was looking online for their last day of the sale and I picked up a couple of things. So let's open it up. First thing that I got was a blouse. I really, really love this color. I My two favorite colors are green and purple. And for whatever reason, I don't have a lot of things in my closet that color. So don't ask me why, but it's just kind of, I have a lot of black and red and other colors, but I just don't really have a lot of those. So when I saw this, like look how nice that color is. And it goes with the eyeliner I feel like that I wear all the time that I'm wearing today, which I love. But yeah, this is the first top. It's obviously got a lot of lines in it because it was all folded up, but I will try this on for you guys in just a few minutes, but 
This is the first thing I got. I'm super excited about that. And then the second thing I got, it was a really good price. I think these pants were like under 50 bucks, but they are a really cute navy blue pair with like this belt right here. And I thought the material looked really nice too. I thought this with like a blouse or nice white shirt would look really, really cute. It's also more of a wide leg, which is really in right now. So I thought that could be kind of cute. And I think the, these are supposed to be like high-waisted as well. So, um, which I love high-waisted pants. So those are those two things. Let me open up my next package. The second package that I got is from the Frankie shop. I actually learned about this brand from one of my favorite influencers. Her name is Victoria McGrath. She's based out of uh, the UK area and I just really, really love this brand. I, throughout the summer, I bought a lot of things from the Frankie shop and just really, really loved it. And so I've been trying to get my hands on the shirt that I had, but in a different color. And every time I try to get it, it was sold out. And I literally went online a few days ago and I saw it and I'm like, oh my God, it's there. So I immediately grabbed it and I picked it up. So let me show you what it is. I am not a, a huge gray fan. I will start off by saying this, but I loved this shirt so much and it held up so well. I love the style of it that I was like, I think I have to at least get the gray. So this is what it looks like. The Frankie shop is known for it's like oversized kind of businessy look which I'm really into right now. The shirt, I'm sure if you've watched a f even a few of my vlogs, you've seen me wear this shirt in my other color, which is like that light pink-ish color. So you'll probably see me wear it again and I'll point it out when I do, but I love this. I most often have worn this shirt or my in my other color. I've worn it with, when I've been traveling, with a pair of leggings, tennis shoes, like a white t-shirt or like a white long sleeve, and then I just put this over top. And it's so, so nice and I love it. I think this also works really, really well for business. There, you can kind of like tuck this in with a pair of like really cute dress shorts and some nice like tall boots or something like that but it's very versatile which I am really also obsessed with but yeah not a huge fan of gray but I love this shirt and I love this company so much that I'm like I I have to get it so let me try them on I don't know if I'm gonna try on the pants for you guys but I will try on these two shirts something that I also want to work towards this year is by try to find a better place to film minus my kitchen area and also do maybe a little bit of better of a drop if you've watched some of my other vlogs there's a lot of other updates that I want to make in my house and I'm hoping with some of those I'll have like a better area to kind of do some of this stuff and I want to be able to kind of film my whole self instead of just my face so that you can actually see see more of some of my outfits than some of the angles that I'm about to show you here. But let me slip these on real quick, show you what they look like. Here is the first shirt. Again, I love the color. I knew that I liked it when I saw it online and seeing it in purple, just, I love it even more. Again, it needs a good steam. So you see all these pieces here and I just have leggings on, so nothing special. But yeah, I think it fits great. I love the color. Uh, it's got like several buttons up here. I just kind of unbuttoned a few at the top. And again, it needs a nice, a nice iron. But Either way, I love it. I'm definitely gonna keep it and I'm really happy with this one. My second one, I also found this, literally you might recognize this. I wear it all the time. I obviously wouldn't wear this with the purple shirt, but I've worn this in several of my vlogs. Again, it may not be the most attractive thing to some of you all, which is totally fine. I don't think it is either, but it's really comfortable. It's really versatile. And again, you're, I mean, you're seeing it with purple underneath it, but that's the original one that I've been obsessed with for a while. All right, here is the second one. And again, let me try to go more into the light. It's, I just put like a black tank underneath it, but it's definitely like an oversized more, fit like a dress shirt uh, and again I kind of have to play around with it a little bit but I love it 
Again, this is kind of more of my style that I kind of have been liking these days or like a mix of these things. I would roll up the sleeves. Again, it's meant to be an oversized shirt. You can tuck in like one side. You can tuck in both. You can leave them both out. So a uh, lots of different ways to wear it. I also think this is a really good piece that you can either wear like casually or again, I can easily obviously wear this to work and that would work really well too. In about an hour, I'm leaving and meeting a couple of friends in Reston Town Center. There is yet another cool place that they've built up. I feel like Reston's done a really nice job lately with building in a lot of really cool restaurants and bars. I went to a speakeasy not too long ago that was really cool, and they have a brand new wine bar called 60 Vines, and I think they just have, I don't know if it's 60 or how many, however many they have, but they have a bunch of wines on tap which I thought was really cool so me and two other good friends of mine are going to check that out and we're going to see how that is so I will try to film as much as I can and then I'll let you know how that is but I'm excited to yet explore something that's really close to where I live and just kind of see how it is and give you guys a little bit of an overview if you guys are in the area or are planning to come in this area shortly so I will talk to you shortly I don't think I'm going to wear either of these things I think they're just a little too dressed up I think for what I want to wear tonight but it also is rainy and really not great weather so I think I'm just gonna put on like jeans I don't, a pair of boots that can get wet and won't get ruined and then just something comfortable and like a rain jacket or something like that so nothing too crazy I will show you right before I leave but I just wanted to give you a heads up of what I've got planned for the rest of the evening and I hope that you like the rest of my outfits I will try on the Everlane pants that I got next probably a couple of days or so. I've got a lot of things coming up for work this week, so if I like it with one of my tops this week, I might end up wearing that, and then I'll show you what that looks like. But either way, I will talk to you in a bit. I have to go get ready because I feel like I'm always running late these days, and I have to go and get that done. But yep, I'll see you soon when I'm all ready and about to head to dinner. I am heading out for dinner, but I'm just wearing one of my coats. I'm just going to bring an umbrella rather than to wear my uh, raincoat. And then I'm just wearing one of my new, actually, Everlane burgundy sweaters, a pair of my white boots that are leather that I know that rain will just slide right off of them, and then a pair of jeans. So I'm ready to go. about 11 p.m. I just got home and tonight was so much fun. Not only did I have a really, really good time with two of my really good friends, but also 60 Vines in Reston Town Center, I would give a 12 out of 10 rating. It was really great. The service was great. The food was great. The drinks, I love the atmosphere. For some of you guys that have followed me uh, and watched some of my other previous videos, you saw when I recently went to the Speakeasy and Reston Town Center that they opened maybe two or three months ago. That was really cool as well, but this is just a completely different vibe. There is a little secret door, which you probably saw, which I wanted to explain in one of my videos where you're gonna see all these different wine containers, whatever they wanna call them, uh, in the back. And so we're sitting at our table and we're chatting and we're like, what is in that back door, like by the bar? And one of the waiters that were there had kind of like caught our question was like, come on, I'll show you. So he like got us up from the table and like opened that like door and like let us in the back and just kind of like talked about like their whole process and how things work back there. And was like, if you guys have any questions, like I'm happy, like, you know, bring your wine. We'll take you around the restaurant. It's really cool. I just, I really had, and so did my friends, we had a really great experience. We thought they were really, really awesome. So I just figured I'd touch on that. But per usual, I am hitting the time limit that I usually like to end things on. And I really enjoyed kind of ending the vlog on this really, really high note. So I'm going to say goodnight and goodbye to you guys for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments uh, along the way or about anything that I've talked about today. I will provide some of the links to the outfits that I showed you earlier today because I told you that I wanted to make these vlogs a little bit better and that is something one of the things that I wanted to work on. So I will provide those below. So either way, again, thank you so much. I will see you soon and good night.